mahakama kuu imethibitisha kwamba kuna ushahidi unaohakikishia mahakama kwamba mwanahabari wa zamani Jacky Maribe alitekeleza mauaji ya Monica Kimani mnamo Septemba 19 mwaka 2018 aidha Maribe ambaye aliachiliwa huru na mahakama alifaulu kuelezea mahakama kwamba hakumjua na hakuwa na uhusiano wote na mwenda zake Monica kabla ya kuwa kwake na kwa hivyo hakuwa na sababu yoyote ya kutekeleza mauaji hayo Setho Lale na taarifa kamili It is my considered view that the charge brought against the second accused person was not the proper charge katika uamuzi wake, Judge Grace Nzioka alisema kwamba mahakama ilithibitisha kwamba aliyekuwa mshtakiwa wa mauaji ya Monica Nawera Kimani, Jacky Wanjiru Maribe, hakutekeleza kitendo hicho na hivyo basi kumwachilia huru. Judge Nzioka akieleza kwamba aliridhika na madai ya Maribe kwamba hakuwa katika eneo la mauaji katika jumba la Lamuria Garden mtaa wa Kilimani na kwa hivyo hakuna jinsi alitekeleza mauaji hayo The evidence by the prosecution against the second accused person did not place the second accused person in the house of the deceased on the material night aida maribe alifaulu kushawishi mahakama kwamba hakumjua na hakuwa na uhusiano wowote na mwenda zake monika kimani kabla ya kuuawa kwake there was no evidence that she had ever communicated with the deceased the evidence that the prosecution have brought before this court on the second accused person relates to the events of 20th of September 2018 and that is the shooting incident Kadalika Maribe alifaulu kujitetea mbele ya mahakama kwa kudhibitisha kwamba hakuwa na njama yoyote kibinafsi ya kumuua Monica Kimani kwani hakuwa na uhusiano wowote wa kikazi, kibiashara, urafiki ama uadui naye. Kwa hayo, mahakama iliamua kwamba Jacky Maribe alishtakiwa na kosa la mauaji kimakosa na kwamba licha ya kuwa kuna ushahidi wa kutosha dhidi yake kuhusu taarifa potovu kwa idara ya polisi kosa hilo haliambatani na kosa la kutekeleza mauaji kibinafsi Article 157 gives the power to institute and prosecute a person suspected of committing the offense to the office of the director of public prosecution and the question posed at this stage is was there an offense committed when the second accused person gave a statement to the investigating officer at Langata police station which turned out to be not true I say no more. The office of the director of public prosecution know their mandate. Na kwamba shtaka ambalo lingetumika dhidi ya Maribe ni lile la kupotosha ushahidi ambalo kifungo chake ni cha miaka mitatu gerezani na wala sio shtaka la mauaji. <laughs> Pande husika kwenye kesi hii zitarejea hapa tarehe nane mwezi Machi wakati mahakama itatoa hukumu yake dhidi ya Joey Irungu Seth Olale Luninga ya Citizen katika mahakama ya Milimani